Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Sprocket video in this game and my channel on my channel. Yes, that's what I was supposed to say. It is. Welcome to another Sprocket video on my channel. Today we are actually going to be jumping into scenarios. We're actually going to go to ambush, I believe, and we're going to start building a tank. Now the tank that I want to build is like a, I guess like a starter German tank, if that makes sense. So something that he used in like early war, uh, and that is because this is interwar, so I guess we'll see what happens. Um, it's not going to be a, is it called a PT-38, I believe? It's not going to be one of those, it might be like a Panzer, so I guess that is more like World War II, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can build. Okie dokie, so it doesn't have to fit the aesthetic of a, uh, a interwar tank, it can actually fit the aesthetic of an actual World War II tank, um, but it is using World War or interwar technology, so that's all good, I guess. We're gonna make it quite big. Oh my! Okay, not that big. So we're gonna make it one tall, that seems fine. Uh, we're then gonna do the mobility, so we're gonna go straight to the tracks, uh, and we're gonna start working on those, because I believe that'll actually make it work a little bit better. Uh, as we go along. So we'll actually do it like this. Seems excellent. The diameter of the road wheels is actually going to be pretty large. And I think that actually looks pretty good so far. We're going to make the diameter of the uh, the idler a little bit bigger. And we're going to put it right there. Alright, and we're going to put this a little bit lower down. And I actually think that looks pretty good. It's very boxy, but I think that still looks pretty nice. Yeah. Alright, then we're going to go with the fender. We're going to leave the tracks the same width as they already are. And we're going to go ahead and change this to be one of these. Oh yeah. Alright, then the width can come out a little bit more. And I think that actually looks pretty good so far already. That's perfect. Nice. Okay, cool. So, section length. We can make it longer and we can make it shorter. I think we're going to make it shorter. The offset at the back and the front we can change. Uh, however, I don't really think we need to. So we'll leave that in there. Alright, excellent. So far, so good. Let's go back to the base and continue working on it. So, this is actually going to come backwards a tiny touch. There we go, like this. Uh, this is actually going to be backwards not an awful lot, to be fair. And that's going to come down a little bit. Okay, cool. We're then going to actually angle this bit like so. Uh, we're going to bring this bit back up. There we go. And we'll have it just like that. Yes. Nice. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We're then going to go to the hole. We're going to make it 6.5 meters long. And we're going to make it three wide. Bam. Okay, that makes things a little bit more interesting. It means that this bit could be a little bit higher uh, and look a little bit more interesting. Okay, there we go. I actually think that's pretty cool looking. So far, so good. Uh, Alright, okay. So, if we go to mobility, we go to tracks, we go to the sprocket mount, sorry, the idler mount, and we change it to that. I think that's a good idea. Yep, I do. Good. Uh, the wheels are all actually going to be these guys, and the diameter of the wheels is going to be bigger. There we go. All right, excellent. Yes, that's pretty sick. I like it. Good. We're then going to go ahead and make the idler wheel and all of them do the same thing. So they're all going to be literally the same. There we go. Excellent. Uh, track sections are going to be these ones. I think, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And maybe the width of the track could be a little bit bigger. Bam. There we go. All right, excellent. I like the way this looks already. I do. I actually like it. Good. Okay, so let's go back to the base. We'll go to the turret, and we'll start working on that as well. So wider, uh, taller, and a little bit back. Okay, I think it's all going to be a lot taller. There we go. This bit's going to be taller and come backwards as well, but let it be a little bit out. And I think that actually looks pretty good. We'll then go to crew, and we're going to fit a stowage to this. So we're going to fit one of these on. Uh, whether it fits this tank or not, I still want to use it. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the back like this be quite large. I actually think that sort of works. Good. Okay, right, so firepower. Let's go ahead and skip to this. We're going to have one of these, and we're going to make it relatively small. There we go. The gun on it is going to be smaller as well, the ratio. So let's go to the cannon. It's actually only going to be like a, a 40 mil, 40 mil gun, I guess. That seems pretty good. Uh, and the counterweight is going to go on there. And there we go. All right, cool. That actually seems pretty nice. We're going to put that end on, and I actually think that looks pretty good, to be honest. So there we go. We'll have it just like that. The pen is still like 60 mil, which is not bad for the time. So yeah, that's good. We'll keep it just like that. 
Gun and sights, it already has one, so that's okay. Ammo, we, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, thickness of the armor, let's go ahead and put that to 200, because we can. Okay, excellent. There's literally no reason why you shouldn't do that, so we're going to do it. Uh, base, we're going to go back to the base. We need the armor to be um, better. <laughs> so the ring armor is going to be massive. Side armor is going to be pretty minimal, I guess, like 35. Roof armor we don't need, I don't think. Uh, front, we're going to go with pretty heavy on the front. In fact, 50, ah, we'll go with 60 mil. Cheeks are going to be less because they're angled, so we'll go with 35. And then roof, we'll go with something less than that, like 25. Rear, uh, cheeks, 20, and then everything else left as is. Left as is. Okay, good. Go back to this, and we'll actually change this bit. Hold on. Uh, I always want this bit to be a lot more. I don't know why. Front strip will make it maximum. Uh, and that, I don't think it's going to get penned by very much. Good. That's a good thing. Right, okay. So firepower is already done. Crew, we're going to give them all the space in the world since this tank is ginormous. And we're going to add another one, which is going to be the radio man. Good. Okay. And we've got everybody that we need. Excellent. Uh, and now we're going to start adding things to it. So go back to base. Make shape, and then go back to crew again, and start putting stuff on. So the lights are actually going to go on the fenders. Uh, and they're going to interact with this, because I kind of want to hide this situation. I don't want it to be quite as obvious as that. So that's good, we'll have that right there. Put these on the back end. Crew hatches, obviously we want to get in and out, so we'll do this. Uh, right about there, okay, excellent. Uh, viewports, we need the driver's viewport on the side. And then with the gunner, we don't need, but we'll put one of these up here anyway. For both of them, very good. Uh, Commander's Kupla. We're going to go ahead and put this off to the side at the back. And make it bigger. There we go. That's actually pretty nice as well. Antenna, we'll put it on the other side, just because we can. Stowages. Oh, this is where things get interesting. So I usually don't really add stowages to my tanks. But this one is getting quite a few. So we're going to have two on the front. Uh, just like this. There we go. And then we're going to have one that is a lot smaller next to it. Okay, so if we scroll down, we can have it be smaller. We'll put it right there. Okay, so that's only going to be on one side. We'll have two of those. We'll actually have two of those on this side. Here we go. One and two. Okay, excellent. On this side, we're actually going to go ahead and have a utility, which is going to be this. Um, and we're going to have two logs. Yeah, okay, right. Interesting. I like this. We're going to put these guys right here because we can. We're going to put these guys on pretty big. On both sides. There we go. And then on the front as well. Just like so. And then we need to figure out the rest of it. So this, I feel like, should be on here somewhere. So I'll actually put it on this side of the tank. And that's pretty good. We'll then have a gun. Right on top. I think this is actually starting to look pretty nice indeedy. We don't need a trench crossing thing or anything like that, so we'll leave that as is. We'll put a plate behind this guy. And we'll have it go on the other side as well, I guess. I guess. So grab it again. Put it right there. And we'll have it meet up in the middle. Okay, excellent. That's I guess that works. Uh, and then we're going to have some patches just here uh, for reasons. Very good. Uh, anything else that we really, really need? Yes, there is. And you know what it is? It's mobility. It's fuel. We need a lot less of that. <laughs> we don't need very much fuel at all. Engine. I don't really know which one to go with. I feel like it should be slow. But maybe we're going to make it quicker anyway. Just because we can. So let's go with like a 2 liter. There we go. Idle is going to be... About 750. And then max is going to be 2... 400. There we go. And then half of that is 1 200. And then this is going to be 1 200. Which is like 4 horsepower per? That is really bad. That's really bad. But we've built something really heavy. So I guess it makes sense. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be slow. I guess that's fine. Right, we're going to go ahead and add these guys. Uh, if possible. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Drag this forwards a little bit. There we go. And then we can put this on. Oh, 
Okay, and then we can go back to this, and we can have this angle backwards again. Okay, excellent. That looks pretty sick to me. I really like it. Uh, okay, so go back to mobility. We then need to go to vents, and we need a vent on this. So I'm actually going to put one right about there, and another one right next to it. Okay, excellent. And that's it. I think that's all of the stuff we actually need. Uh, if there's anything in here that we should add, then maybe we should, but maybe one of these. Here we go. That's probably a good idea, actually. Put it right in the middle and put it there. Okay, excellent. Now we just need to color it and everything will be fine. So, uh, I guess a German tank, that livery, sure. We'll then go to decals and we'll add some uh, crosses. Some crosses? Bam. Okay, so that whoa, is going to be this. Okay. Actually, it's going to be this. Or should it be that? I don't know which one it should be. Like, I actually don't know. There we go. And then we'll put a different de decal on the front. Have a really small one. Right about here. And that's just going to be one of these. Okay, make it smaller. So it fits in one of those. And then maybe another one of these on the back end on both sides. Okay, I don't know why I've done the back end on both sides, but that's fine. Flags, we don't need any flags. I think we're good. Crew is all good. We've got loads of crew. Uh, we've got a hell of a lot of space. We're 42 tons. This tank really doesn't need to be this big. Uh, especially with, like, the gun. The gun is tiny. It's, it's really not big. But I guess we'll see what happens. Let's go for it. Oh, it needs to be under 40 tons. Yikes. Okay, well, I guess the way of doing that is just get rid of some ammo. There we go. Get rid of some more ammo. Good. We're at 42 tons. Uh, fuel. I guess we could get rid of armor as well. So go to base, go to hull, go to armor. And then belly? Is there a belly? Where's the belly? Here it is. There we go. We're under 40 tons. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so the idea is that our gun can actually fire quite quickly. And we won't be able to be penned. And maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. Alright, okay. They're all coming for me. I actually really like the look of this tank. I think it looks great. Yeah, alright, cool. We're gonna go straight into battle. There we go. We'll fight everyone that's in front of us. I don't think I killed it, but it looked like I did. There we go. It's dead now. Good. This one, you're next. Here we go. Nope. Nope. I don't know whether that died, but sure, we'll go with it. Oh, I don't think it did. Try again. No, okay, we need to try again. Where's the... Oh, that was a really bad shot. We're still getting shot, though. I think it's dead. Okay, right, now it's dead. We'll go for this one. Okay, well, now that, adds... that one's dead. Let's go to this one. Okay, that one's gone. Any more? We've been ambushed, but apparently not very well, because... I haven't moved, and I've killed them all. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go, right? That's that's how we're supposed to roll? Maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? Oh, wow, okay. I thought this one was alive, but it is uh, definitely dead, right? You're, def you're dead? Oh, I just pressed space bar. I'm so used to, like, War Thunder, and I keep thinking I'm in War Thunder when I play this game. I press space bar to shoot the machine gun that's on the top, but obviously... That doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue the mission. We're going to shoot more. All right, that one didn't die, so we'll keep shooting it. There we go. Now it's dead. Good. We're now going to focus on the rest of them. And this time, actually, instead of staying still, well, oh, I guess we should probably drive at them. There we go. Let's keep driving. Because we need to check that it can actually move. I didn't, I didn't even think about the gearing system. It doesn't turn very well. That's for sure. It does not turn very well at all. And I keep missing. So that's not the best. But anyway, let's continue. Let's go, go, go. Oh, there's a tank right here next to me. But I need to I need to focus on that one first. Okay, I missed. Oh, th and then it pops. It popped out, like, there. Oh, and it's going to get a shot off. No, okay, I didn't. I didn't let it get a shot off, so we're good. All right, let's continue. Yes, okay. I don't think they can pen my armor at all. 
Well, now that I've said that, though, they will just shoot straight through it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed they'll just shoot straight through it. Alright, you're dead. And now you... You're next, buddy. Did I really not get it? I don't think I killed it. How did that not kill it? Die! Whoa, that tank is so weird! I wanna build something like that. Oh, don't shoot me in the butt, please. Please don't shoot me in the butt. There we go, alright, finally we got him. Wow, okay, I think that's everyone dead. I think, I think we're good now. We can just leave. Pretty sure we can just leave. Okie dokie, so the war is um, not actually over yet because we actually need to uh, kill whatever this is at the end. And to be honest, the first time I did this mission, I just drove straight past them. Uh, and that's how I finished the mission. But honestly, this time, I, I want to be able to kill them. So whatever you are, you need to die. Oh, I don't know what you are. But die, please. Oh, your side on. It, it left itself wide open for me and I just ruined it. Okay, well, I mean, you're dead, so that's good. That's very good. Okay, excellent. Let me, uh, let me take a picture of that. There we go. All right, excellent. That's how, um, that's how you do this mission. You just build something that's like 40 tons, and then you just roll through, getting shot, die, don't die, don't die, and kill everything else. It's easy. Very easy. Uh, and this is, this is what you come up against. Because I'm in a 40 ton tank, and that's not a 40, 40 ton tank. That's a, that's a baby tank. Right there. That's a baby tank right there. Okie dokie. Well, anyway, I think I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any ideas on what we can actually do in this game, let me know in the comments down below. Or join my Discord that is also linked down below. But anyway, for right now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.